Hello all, welcome to part 12 of Kubernetes Made Easy tutorial. In this session, I'm going to explain one of the features of the Kubernetes that is horizontal scaling. So let's get started. In Kubernetes, as part of horizontal scaling, we can scale up the containers. That means we can increase the count of the containers when more containers are required, or we can scale down the containers. That means we can decrease the count of the containers when less number of containers are required. In Kubernetes, there are three ways using which we can scale up or scale down the containers. That is from command line, that is the first way, from Kubernetes UI, second way, and third one is automatical scaling is based on available resources like CPU, etc. Automatical scaling will be done. These are three ways in Kubernetes using which we can scale up or scale down the containers. Fine. Now, apart from this, Kubernetes has three main structures which support horizontal scaling. What are those three main structures in Kubernetes which support horizontal scaling? First one is replication controller, second one is manifest file, and third one is horizontal pod auto scaler. Let me show you one image. As shown in this image, there are three main structures in Kubernetes which supports horizontal scaling. Replication controller is the first one, manifest file is the second one, and horizontal pod auto scaler is the third one. So, what is the job of this replication controller? The job of this replication controller is to create the required number of pods. Okay, it has to create the required number of pods as part of this horizontal scaling. Not only that, guys, it has to make sure that the required number of pods always exists and running. And if any particular pod crashes, then immediately replication controller has to replace that pod. Okay, it has to replace the crashed pod. From where this replication controller will get the information that this many number of pods are required. It will get the information from the manifest file, okay, another structure of the Kubernetes. From here, it will get the information. So this kind of information like replicas 4, that means, okay, in the manifest file, replicas 4 will be there. So replication control will get this kind of information like four parts are required. So it has to create four parts and make sure that all these four parts are available and running. If any of the pod crashes, replication control has to replace that crashed pod with a new pod. And there is one more structure in Kubernetes which supports this horizontal scaling. That is horizontal pod auto scaler. Okay. This one is something different, guys, which auto scales up and down the containers based on the available CPU or any other available resources. Okay. Based on any other available resource like CPU, etc., it has to auto scale up and down the containers okay that's the purpose of this third structure of this kubernetes which supports this horizontal scaling so hope guys you understood how kubernetes performs horizontal scaling so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye